Hey gang, this is Jay from JTech, and welcome to another JTech video. Microsoft recently announced that towards the end of this year, they're going to stop manufacturing Xbox 360 units. It's been noticed over the past two years, Xbox 360 hasn't received the latest versions of certain games, for example, Halo 5, Fallout 4, and many other titles that were synonymous with Xbox 360 haven't been upgraded or up Dated, only being served up for the Xbox One. It's easy to overlook the Xbox 360 now, but when it released in late 2005, it came with a plethora of features that we take advantage of today, such as achievements and interactive multi-gamer hub, including high-definition video gaming. The Xbox 360 now may seem like an old beast, but it's still used by people who cannot afford the latest generation consoles or even afford the might of building their own gaming PC. So this is my little mini look back at the Xbox 360 before we say goodbye to it and seeing as it's not going to get the latest games after 2016, it's best to give this beast a gentle goodbye. Now my favorite thing about the Xbox 360 is the controller which is heavily represented in the new controller of the Xbox One. Its round and properly curved edges just make it such for such comfortable use. I like the PlayStation 1 controller which is also the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 Dual Shock controller. The Xbox 360 controller is just so comfortable to hold and for people with really large hands it has been the de facto controller to use while PC gaming or even general console gaming. Many people have even modded their PlayStation 3 controllers to mimic the aesthetics of the Xbox 360 controller. Another thing that I liked about the Xbox 360 when it released almost 11 years ago was the achievements. Now you're seeing these achievements available on gaming platforms like Steam and even mobile gaming platforms with the likes of Google Play Games and Apple's Gaming Center. Now enough about the babble of the technical aspects of the Xbox 360, let's talk about the game this thing can run. Of course, besides the Halo library, Call of Duty and many other classic games you remember it for, the Xbox 360 has spawned a number of indie titles, all but to mention a few, Minecraft, which was a huge hit on both PC and the Xbox 360. Bruh. Halo spawned from the original Xbox and PC through Combat Evolved, and the likes of Halo Reach, Halo 3 ODST, and even Halo 4, the Xbox 360 made Halo the big name it is today, including Fallout, which was awarded the Game of the Year recently. Of course, classics like FIFA, Pro Evolution Soccer, Forza Motorsport, and Call of Duty run on the Xbox 360 without any flaws. But it's sad to see that there are no longer any updates to these games coming onto the Xbox 360, giving to this announcement made by Microsoft. The Xbox unit I have is not the Xbox 360S or the 360E, it's the second edition Xbox. And since this was bought in 2008, it has seen many damages that are irreparable. For example, the CD drive will not open and yeah, it's pretty much it. Many others go through this and all of the games that I have are located on the hard drive. But I do enjoy gaming on my Xbox 360 and if I do find time to get games legally of course and install them on the Xbox 360 legally, it is such a fun, it's such a fun thing to behold. Not all of us can afford building a PC, although that's one of my goals. But not all of us can afford the expensive the expensive titles that the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One offer. The Xbox 360 is still a majestic machine that has at least a few, I would have said years if it was at least a couple of years ago, but at least one year of games left in it before I can finally say I'm ready for an upgrade to, an e to either an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. I prefer the PlayStation 4, but I don't want to start a fan war. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on the Xbox 360 almost 11 years later and it's sad to say that this machine will be put to rest. It's definitely left such a huge mark in, video, in the video gaming industry and I hope that you, just like me, made so many memories with your friends, family and others playing this wonderful gaming system which truly has brought us into a new light in terms of video gaming. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the other tech videos on my channel and subscribe. Once again, thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.